Hey, Diesel Dan here. Uh, got a very interesting one today. Um, I had an issue with the driver, called me and said the truck was running like crap over the weekend, missing, carrying on, sputtering, no power. Uh, brought it in, and as you can see, I had this code here, this cylinder six. And I also had a cam code, possible sensor, harness, stuff like that. Uh, the rest of the issue here is ABS. It was hooked up to an older trailer, so it wasn't communicating. So I'll have to update that. But let me go to the fault finder here and see, uh, get a little more detailed on this code here. I cleared them and took it for road test because when I brought it in, it initially wasn't doing anything. So here we are with this code. There's the schematic for it, but what I want to come down to is here. Possible causes. And, you know, wiring harness, connector, ECM, or injector. Uh, I did put a harness myself on this last year. Um, injectors were done. I had a head put on it last year after I did the harness. Uh, this did recently go out and get some transmission work. So my guess right now is someone probably didn't secure the harness properly. Uh, this schematic's a little bit different than the engine I'm working with here. The harness actually comes to the back of the engine and runs through the head to the injectors and it runs over to the cam sensor over here. So I'm guessing my issue is probably in this area here. So I just took the fender flare off, took a peek up there, and I want to show you what I found. Uh, this did not take me long to find, only because I had the information ahead. This is what's good about, you know, working on your own stuff, knowing your own stuff. Let me see if I can get you guys in here to see this. As you can see, I did not have this harness secured like this. I had it a little bit better. Let's see if that'll... As you can see, someone gooed up the back cover here when they did the cylinder head. Let me zoom in here a little bit. But uh, I had this harness a little bit better tied up. So, I'm going to try to hold it here and see if you guys can see what I found here. It's right behind this hose clamp here where my thumb is. I'm trying to put the camera up here where you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or see that right there. That's my issue right there. It's rubbing on the cold pipe coming out of the compressor. So I'll have to repair this and secure this better. I remember uh, I did not have this like this. So I don't know what they did or who actually did it because it was at two different places getting the harness. But I didn't have it routed this way. I had it more secure. But as you can see with all the, the goo and stuff, they had to reseal this back cap twice. Uh, they did the hit on it. The uh, gear lash was off. I had to send it back for that. And as you can see, it's leaking again. I mean, this is what you're dealing with out the, there. And this was at a Mac dealer. Uh, same thing with the transmission. The transmission was out. Getting some work done to it also. So I don't know who actually had their hands in here, but that's what I found. Sometimes going in with a little bit of information and uh, you ha have an idea what's going on. Uh, the codes kind of point you in the right direction, but sometimes you got to do a little digging to actually find the problem. But uh, this was an engine I went over last year with the harness. You know, EGR core, cleaned all the pipes out stuff like that so that's what I'm going to get into that's what I found with this one so I hope this helps just as if you run into uh, codes like that with an you know harness open stuff like that I always recommend just take a quick inspection look for anything obvious anything rubbed anything looked out of the ordinary and that's usually going to be your culprit before you go you know homing out wires and stuff like that so I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to keep them coming. Hopefully you have some more interesting stuff coming up this week. 
Uh, it's been a lot of trailer repairs the last couple weeks. That's why I haven't posted much, but I'll try to get back on it. All right, thanks to the next one.